Oh, jeez, man. You didn't think it'd be so difficult overclocking. You got that old PC, you just want a little more life out of it. Your friend's telling you, ah, oh, just put the clock speed up. Overvolt this, undervolt that, VRMs, VMUs, TDPs. Y you don't know what the heck they're talking about. And once you do figure it out, you gotta mess with all these numbers, you gotta experiment one by one, and nothing works. And of course, it's the middle of summer. What do you expect? But that's cause you're doing it wrong. Your friends are doing it wrong. No one's told you the right way to do it. Oh yeah, they talk about undervolting. But just changing some numbers in the menu is like trying to change the flow of your tap with your finger. It's just not that effective. You need to get it at the source. From before that voltage even gets to your PC. You see those prongs? Half your voltage comes in through one prong. The other half comes through the other prong. But we want some serious speed. You gotta cut both of those prongs off. No prongs, no voltage. And what's less than nothing? Now you're undervolted. Take that cord and plug it back in. The electron stasis that we discussed in a previous video comes into play. Now we can get some serious speed. Limits? They're gone. Overclock it all the way up to, what's that? 7 gigahertz per core. And we're running an 8 core processor. 7 times 8? 56. And look at that. Starts up. No problem. Now just have yourself a cup of tea, sit back. Relax and enjoy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.